Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. There exists an object x, such that if p of x, then for all y, p of y. Now, in proving this theorem, we are going to assume our universe is non-empty. So, there is at least one object out there. So, let's pick an object, c. Now, in proving this, we are going to break this up into two cases. Either for all objects y, p of y, or there exists an object y such that not p of y. In either case, we're going to show that this is true. Let's start with case one, where for all y, p of y. Well, since this is true, it follows that if p of c is true, then this is true. Right? We know that this is going to be true. The reason why is because the consequent of this conditional is true. So we see that there is at least one object x such that p of x implies for all y p of y. In particular, if we take x to be c, then it works. So this completes case one. Now let's move on to case two where there exists a y such that not p of y. Well then, there is at least one object out there which satisfies not p. I'll call that object d. So we have that not p of d is true. Well, since not p of d is true, it follows that if it's false, then for all y, p of y. In other words, if p of d is true, then for all y, p of y. The reason we know that this is true is because the antecedent is false, right? So sometimes we say that this is vacuously true. So we see that there's at least one object x such that p of x implies for all y, p of y. In particular, if we take x to be d, then it works. So, in either case, we have that this is true. And therefore, this is true. And so we've proven precisely what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.